welcome to Stampin' with Kay. Uh, today we're going to do another card. Uh, this is card three in a series of uh, tea shop cards. Uh, this is the tea shop stamp set. And today we're going to feature this stamp. It, it just turned out, I think, to be a beautiful card. Hold it up so you can see it close. So, let's get started. First thing we're going to use is a piece of Lucky Limeade cardstock. This measures eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. We're just going to fold it in half and use our bone folder and it straight and make our base card. And the next layer we're going to use is um, using very vanilla. And this layer measures uh, five and a fourth inches by four inches. And I used uh, one of the embossing folders in my Big Shot. This one is Textured Impressions Perfect Polka Dots. So I ran it through um, my Big Shot and I'm going to use my snail and apply it to the card. Next thing we're going to use is this tag, and this comes from uh, the big, let's see, uh, the big Z two tags. Um, it's a die that I use with my Big Shot, and we're just using this this one portion. So I did that um, out of very vanilla cardstock, and what I'm going to do now. Um, is I'm going to find my sponge dabber and some crumb cake ink and this I've, I've always felt was a vintage type stamp set and I want to just apply a little ink on the edge of this tag. On the original card I actually applied just a touch of ink around the perfect polka dot layer. The next thing we're going to do is using the 1 and 3 eighths punch and some Lucky Limeade cardstock. I'm going to hold it there and punch out a circle. And then part of this stamp set has um, this little flower right here. And I stamped that on very vanilla using Lucky Limeade ink. And I'm going to use my one and a fourth inch circle punch and I'm going to line that up and cut that circle out. And then just using my snail, I'm going to put that on the circle like that. And then I'm going to line that up on the tag and just place it there. So the next step is we have some crochet ribbon and I'm going to get a piece of that and tie it around the tag. I thought it went with the the vintage feel and I'm going to put a little bit of snail right here on the back. It'll just sort of help hold my ribbon in place while I tie the knot. Just tie a knot and I'll trim those edges. Then looking at the card, I know that I want this to go about right here. And I really want it to adhere to the perfect polka dot. So I'm going to be using some of the multi-purpose glue. Um, it holds real well. And I'm going to just put this at an angle right there and just put that aside and let it dry for a minute. This is the stamp. And I used the Lucky Limeade ink and I stamped this. And what I'm going to be doing is cutting this out 
and just using um, my snips and I like to leave just a little bit of the edge around the teacup so I've got that cut out and I want it to go right here but I want to leave enough room in it and, and let it curve up so it'll hold a tea bag so I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm going to just go like this and that's just going to give it a little bit of a curve and yeah see how it, how it gives a little curve enough to hold the teacup so I'm going to take again my Tombow glue and I am just going to go right along the edge then I'm going to take this and I'm going to hold it down just a minute and that still has that curve right there where the tea bag can go in okay the next thing I'm going to be doing is I stamped that extra image and I'm going to be cutting out these flowers and we're going to be just applying them with glue dots right on the top and I wanted to put some pearls on it um, I'm going to use these middle size pearls the smaller pearls I think I want to put those up here I'm through with my pearls so the only thing left now I have to do is the tea bag so I just went downstairs and I'm not a tea drinker so I raided my husband's stash he didn't have anything real interesting so I got some Lipton tea and just take that out and then I am just going to take this off I'm going to put bag in the cup and then I want the string to hang around and then I want to put a word saying there so part of uh, the stamp set has a just for you stamp so I stamped that on very vanilla uh, using the Lucky Limeade ink and I'm going to use my word window punch and just line that up and then I'm going to get my snail and put some snail on that and then just get the string where I want it I want it to you know, hang down some and I'm going to use my paper snips and cut that part off okay, I think I want it like that okay and there's the card or the front of it and what I did for the inside is I just took a sheet of very vanilla at five and a fourth by four inches and I used a little flower in the set and stamped it in the corner and I also did that on the envelope. Thanks for joining me at stampinwithk.com. Hope you join us again soon. Bye.